What's up you guys, today is uh, May 9, 2024. I'm working two upper body exercises that I'm very weak at, uh, just trying to, especially in my right shoulder. It's always been uh, kind of a, it's been injured and had surgery a few times, so uh, sometimes I try to do heavy pull-ups and heavy pushing movements, and other days I try to just work um, in ranges of motion that I can easily get into and easily get out of, but I choose variations of the exercise that are very difficult for me. So for me, a wide grip pull-up is very hard, as well as getting deep on a parallel push-up. So I'm gonna get started and I'll show you what this looks like. Like I said, this is gonna be real boring, but this is not a demonstration video, nor is it a tutorial. This is my actual workout. And I used to be kind of embarrassed to show or to post this or even videotape it, but you know, I believe it's good to be honest with um, anybody that's, that's following my channel. So right here in this range of motion, without all of these elastic bands supporting me, um, I wouldn't even be able to get down here. Um, I, I mean, I probably could, obviously I can with all this assistance, but with just body weight, my shoulders would just be very uncomfortable. Whereas right here, I'm able to practice and pattern this movement and just teach the neuromuscular system how to get me and, and keep me down here, but without overloading my muscles, my tendons, and my neurons. So I'm just going working in a range of motion that's easy to get into and easy to get out of. And I'm using parallettes, but what I'm doing here works really well if you're just struggling with a regular push-up. Um, these are rogue resistance bands. This is just um, one of those straps you put around your waist to add weight on a, on a pull-up or a bar dip, but I also use it as a harness, excuse me, with these uh, resistance bands to help me, or to help support me on movements that I'm super weak on. Okay, this is just a lat pull-down bar. It's uh, anchored to a professionally installed hook. I actually had a contractor put it in so I could uh, sue somebody in case it fell off. I'm only joking. All right, so right here, I put a slight bend in my knees, taking a wide grip, because I like seriously with body weight, um, I could maybe pull myself maybe I can just hang but right here so this is where I can even with all this assistance this is as high as I can go while keeping while maintaining the timing and the symmetry of my scapular movements I'm also trying to externally rotate the upper arm which activates my scapular muscles and only unless I can get that external rotation first, which sets the muscles in the shoulder properly, then I'll just pull to the range of motion that I can. I could technically pull higher than this, but the idea is for me to pattern a lot of repetitions in the range of motion that is easy for me to get into and easy to get out of just wanted to get a lot of these these reps because even doing this these muscles obviously if I can't do a full range of motion wide grip pull up um, obviously the muscles that start me in that movement are weak and just hanging my full body weight on them and flailing like a fish on a hook, um, that just doesn't work. For me, it doesn't. So if I add these resistance bands, 
I can get enough training volume into those small intricate muscles to uh, eventually get them better at coping with my full body weight and conveniently obviously that was a pull movement now going back into a push movement so while I was doing the, the pull-ups the muscles that get me here had a chance to recover so up here there's really not that much going on so I'm gonna go to the range of motion that I normally couldn't with body weight and I'm gonna just pulse right here and I'm trying not to bounce I could bounce like that but I'm actually trying to sink into the band and actually muscularly push myself out this I mean yes it's I feel obviously much lighter than if I didn't have all this assistance but if I focus on sinking my weight down and then pushing out right here using those muscles that get overwhelmed with full body weight I can actually get them and this also allows me to strengthen my tendons I think that's what I'm saying I can get to a range of motion that with full body weight my tendons and ligaments wouldn't tolerate very well so I can condition those down here with all at, at this lighter body weight and then when I come back without the bands I'm just a little bit better at that okay well it's getting dark so and while I was doing that hopefully my lats were able to rest up a little bit I'm gonna take not as wide a grip and we're gonna go one more time here when I place my feet in this strap I want to make sure that one is not on top of the other I want to make sure that they're both side by side so that the force entering my feet is symmetrical I put a slight bend in the knees and I'm focusing on externally rotating the upper arm in the socket which activates a lot of the muscles in the scapular and mid back region and they help me they set my shoulder and connect the shoulder blades to the rib cage so that now when I pull with my arms everything will come with them and I'm just trying to find that range of motion where I can get a lot of repetitions a lot of work volume a lot of time under tension once again I could pull higher but that's not the point I'm trying to get I'm trying to train these small very weak muscles and tendons and ligaments with a lot of volume a lot of time under tension for me they adapt better if I train them like this than just hanging and trying to kick through with my legs and using a lot of momentum I also recover from this better so some days I'll do heavier weighted pull-ups for one for single repetitions and then on other days this is literally the first time I'm showing this because in the past I was kind of embarrassed but I don't give a shit anymore I'd rather be honest with you guys and show you uh, <laughs> kind of more the for me the behind the scenes stuff and uh, I actually thought about it and you know showing this stuff I hope is actually more helpful to a lot of people because like I said you don't it, you know for me being able to go deep on a parallel push-up is as difficult as it is for somebody new or returning to push-ups 
to just do a full push up. So this I could never do with without assistance right here. This is a no go, but with the help of the bands, I can now practice and just teach the, the muscles, the tendons, the ligaments and the nervous system how to just get comfortable and confident down here. And that's the value of using bands in the way that I'm using them now. Yeah, these are not muscularly difficult, but over the course of many reps, it gets surprisingly challenging. And the more I do this, the better I get at full unassisted body weight repetitions. So, and right here it's actually getting, it's getting pretty tough. Another reason why I like to do this, especially here, is I can get very tight in my chest and everything gets kind of pulled in this way. So these allow me to really stretch into a range of motion that I could never get to with full body weight. It would just overwhelm my system and all I'd get out of it is kind of sore shoulders. All right, final set. I'm gonna bring my grip in a little bit. So I put one foot in, I put a lot of tension there, and then I'll put my other foot in, make sure that I arrange them so they're right next to each other. One is not on top of the other, so the tension is some more supporting me symmetrically. Slight bend in my knee. I'm gonna externally rotate the upper arm in the socket that connects my shoulder blades to the rib cage so that when I pull with my arms, I now get a symmetrical recruitment of the shoulder and the lat muscles. And I'm not using these bands to pull myself higher than I should. I'm not using them to bounce. I'm using them to allow me to work in a small range of motion that I can practice over and over again, teaching the nervous system how to sequence all the involved structures and loading these very weak muscles and tendons and ligaments, loading them with enough time under tension for them to adapt without overwhelming them with my full body weight. And I'm starting to get a little tired here. So to come out, take one foot out, step back. Okay, that's it. It is time to go in and have dinner with the Ohana. If you're still here, much love and aloha. Thanks.